Microsoft Photo Story is a very easy to use ICT tool, which can be used to create photo stories for the topics that we are teaching in our class. The advantage of using this tool is it is very easy to install, create and use, can be used both by teachers as well as students, and it can be used by all subject teachers to make their lessons very interesting. And the most important thing is it is beneficial for visual and auditory learners. How do I get started? The steps are very simple. Now, I'll take you to the place where we can create these visual stories. The first thing that we have to do is we have to install Microsoft Photo Story. Once that is done, we can see that it is there in the recently added group. Just click on that. And this is the first screen that we are going to get. So in the meantime, I'll minimize this. So this is the first screen that we get once we install Microsoft Photo Story 3 for Windows. Since we are beginning with the first story, we have to select this option and then click on the next button. Next step is we have to import the pictures that we want in our story. For importing the pictures, you can download the Google images or you can click the photographs in your mobile phone and transfer it to the laptop and you can use those. I have some pictures ready-made for this particular demo. So I'm going to use that. So I'll click on import pictures now. Then I will go to the place where I have kept my pictures. Let me just scroll down. Okay. So these are the images that I have kept. So now I can choose the pictures that I want one by one in the normal procedure that we follow. So then click on OK. So you get these three pictures. here. So you can rearrange the picture by using this arrow button. You can take it forward or backward. So depending on the requirement, this is the first picture I want. This is the second one. Maybe this is the third one. Maybe this is the fourth one. OK, so once the pictures are there in the board now, next you can go for removing the black borders. So if you can, if you just click on this option, it will help you to remove the black borders. And this is how you can adjust and change the requirements of that. So I'll just click to this one, say yes for this picture. Similarly, you can do and uh, for all the other pictures by clicking on yes to all. So now it has removed the black borders. Once this step is completed, that is the step of importing the pictures, at the bottom, you can see there is an option called as next. Click on this one. Here, you can type any text that you want to give for this photo story. So here, I can give the topic as visit to a factory, the heading, and you can align it wherever you want to keep. So I want to change the font. I can go here. Maybe I want this one. These are the fonts that are available. Click on the required font, the size, and the color. Which color you want, that also can be chosen. I'm choosing, say, red color. So I click on this and click on OK button. Once this is done, you can align this particular title, either at the top or in the bottom or in the middle. So in the middle, I'm not liking it, so I'm putting it at the bottom. Once the heading is ready for this particular image, you click on the next option here. Now we'll be getting an option to record our voice. That is the most biggest advantage of using this photo story where your voice will be recorded according to the narration that you want to give for this picture. So for recording, what we have to do is we have to click on this red button. The recording stops, starts, and when you want to stop it, you click on the next button. I will show a demo of how to do it. I will record now and show the preview. Welcome students. Today, we are going to visit a factory and know how it works. Sumitra and Sham have already come. Let us wait for the other children also. The teacher said. Okay, so I clicked on the stop button. The recording stopped. Let us hear how the recording will be Heard. So I'm going to click on the preview button here. Welcome students. 
today we are going to visit a factory and see that is how it sounds now here there is an aid for you type notes here to aid your memory as you narrate this picture so suppose there is a long text that you have to speak and you're not ready with the narration you can type it see the matter which is there on the screen and you can record your voice once this recording is done then you click on the next button now here we are getting an option to select the background music that we want for the story before i do this one i'm going to go back and do the same type of narration for each and every picture that i have given this is over for the first one similarly click on the next one go to the next button and if you want to give any uh, heading for this you can give that i'm going to type here factory promotes this is what i want to put over here and i can keep it at the bottom i can change the font font can be this one only I'll just change the color and then i'll bring it at the bottom once this is done again click on the next button you can give your voice over over here whatever narration you want to give maybe two three st uh, students want to uh, record their voice that also can be done one student for the teacher one student for this girl and another student for this boy so it looks like like uh, three people are having a dialogue they're talking with each other once all this procedure is done the next step which i told you is putting the background music so for this you should have mp3 music already stored in your laptop or computer so click on select music now i already have certain mu one music in my uh, desktop so i'm going to choose this one and click on open here it comes still the number of images which are there and by default the volume is very high so you can just bring it back over here and we can preview how the music is heard along with the narration so click on preview welcome students today we are going to visit the factory and know how it works sumitra and sham have already come let us wait for the other children also the teacher said now you can see that the voice is mixed up with the background uh, audio that i have given now the same music is continuing for this four pictures instead of that if you want to have different music for different images you can do that also by selecting the required image then again going to select music option choose it and then you are going to get it once all these steps are done your images are put the black borders are removed the titles are given narrations have been uh, uh, told according to each and every image the background music has been selected now it's time to go to the next step so just click over here and then here you can see few options save your story for playback on your computer send the story in an email message so all these options depending on your requirement you can choose that and the file name will be photo story 1 because i have not given any name we can give the name later and the extension of the file is .wmv later we can change this into mp4 also so just click on this next button now now it is mixing the audio preparing the video and generating the video also once this is done we can view our story or we can go to create another story now i am very much comfortable with my story if after viewing the story if you feel that the audio or the video part or the images there is some problem you can always click on this back button and go back and make the changes maybe the narration part or the video part that is the audio mixing part if it is not satisfactory for you you can change that otherwise if you feel that everything is fine just click on the exit button it is going to ask whether you want to save it click on yes now i am going to give the uh, name of the project i'll give it as pollution story pollution story and this will be stored in videos if you want to save it in desktop you can do that and click on save so now the project is also saved and the video also will be generated now how to test that you can just double click on this one 
it is going to open it and you can see here now the photo story is created so you can view it for your requirement you can play and you can see over here all the things are there just click on next it is again preparing you can edit it now we'll go to view your story okay now i want to view it in the media player any app can be chosen for that click on okay i'm choosing films and tv now so this is how it comes welcome students today we are going to visit a factory and know how it works sumitra and sham have already come let us wait for the other children also the teacher said So that is how the story is created. I hope all of you understood how to use this Microsoft Photo Story to create your own stories with your background, uh, voice, good narration, with proper voice modulation, and putting a background music. So that's it for today's session. Thank you.